friends welcome or welcome back to my channel i am so excited today to be here with you on my island of freebird uh this is my first ever island tour and my first ever dream adjust release i am so happy to be here this is a super exciting accomplishment i feel like uh getting to the point where you can release your dream address finish a complete island it's it's a big feat so i'm so excited to be sharing it with you here today uh, i am standing right outside of my resident services if you wake up on this dream this is where you'll land you'll have a few items here a few you know cute clothing items you can put on and i've also left a ladder here for you but i just picked it up for this video you don't need a ladder but if you want to get some good views and things like that you can go ahead and grab one if you walk through here on resident services this is where we just started the video out i'm going to go ahead and open up my map i can show you guys that and show you my villagers that we have so here is my map uh this is the first island that i've started with uh since launch i've never reset or anything like that so i just you know change the layout up and things uh for you know different themes that i go with uh, my island name, Freebird, is inspired by the place that I met my husband, and it would be nice to change my island name sometimes, but I like that it has a sweet meaning. My villagers here on Freebird are Raymond, Bo, Marshall, Maple, Eric, Pecan, Teddy, Molly, Butch, and Chino. The theme for Freebird is a winter ski resort. So imagine that you are coming here with your family to go skiing. This is where you might stay and the small town you might hang out in. If we go over this way, you are moving over towards my airport. You can see here, if you come right off the plane, this is where you first land. Uh, we also have a lovely train station, so Freebird can be accessed from both plane and train. If you are waiting for your flight, or maybe you've just gotten off of the train, you can stop here for a nice relaxing spot to hang out, check train times, all of that great stuff. In the background, you'll see we have our Freebird Museum, where you can grab some coffee, maybe look at our exhibits, uh, and all of that great stuff while you wait for your train or plane. If we start over on the right side of our island, as you come down here, uh, we have one of our beaches. The beaches are minimally decorated. I mean, this is a ski resort town, so if you're hanging out by the beach, uh, you might be a little cold. So if you come up through this uh, little plaza area and then you come up the stairs here, you are met with our shopping district. The first building we see here is Nook's Cranny. You can see that Nook's Cranny has a little farmer's market. You know, they, they uh, support the local growers and artisans here on the island of Freebird. Not only do Timmy and Tommy sell their you know, furniture and things like that inside of Nook's Cranny, but they also help support our local farmers. Over to the right, Brewster knows that you may not want to stop by the museum for your caffeine fix, so he has a little coffee truck here outside by the shopping district where you can grab a little to-go cup of coffee or sit down with some friends. We also have the Able Sisters over here. Not much to say about this building, it's my least favorite to decorate, so I put some cute designs out front and an ABD because we need bells, right? One fun thing that I really wanted to do on this island is to explore getting all of my villagers jobs. So every villager on this island has some kind of job, some kind of role here on Freebird. And the first one we're going to come across is Bo. So this is Bo's house. Bo runs a bait and tackle shop on Freebird. You may have seen one of my last videos. I showed you how I built this. Uh, Bo has a little fish fry area out here, which I think is just hilarious. It's totally his personality to me to like grill up some fish on the side of his house and sell it. Uh, we also have this fishing hole where you can do some ice fishing in the winter. There's Shino being a queen as always. Bo has some of his, uh, you know, items from his bait and tackle shop on display outside, such as fishing rods, uh, fishing waders, a vest. And if we go inside, we can see Bo's bait and tackle shop. Oh, here is Bo sleeping on the job. I won't tell if you won't tell. This is Bo's Bait and Tackle Shop. Like I said, if you want to see a full video on how I built this, it is up on my channel. But I just was really inspired by, uh, you know, those like 
little cozy shacks. I don't even know how to describe the idea I had for this chaotic bait and tackle shop. It was just, you know, he sells all of the random things that you could possibly need when fishing. He also even has his little bike there on, on the ceiling, you know, parked before he uh, rides around the island or whatever he does. He has his little skateboard, but you can also come and grab your bait, you know, some fishing rods, all of that great stuff from sleepy little Bo here. How cute is he? If we go back up the incline here, right outside Bo's Beaten Tackle Shop, and we make our way down here, you can see there are a couple more villager houses. Here's Raymond doing some sweeping outside of his library. Uh, looks like Raymond has since gone inside outside, so we can't go look at his library, but rest assured, Raymond does have a nice little library where intellects alike can hang out. Raymond is... is the hipster of all hipsters and of course he would run a little bookstore slash library um it's definitely a bookstore not a library raymond would never give anything out for free he's way too snooty for that this house here is Shino's house, and Shino runs a tea shop on the island of Freebird, so you can come here, you can hang out, you can take some of your tea outside and relax. Inside, Shino also has a little tea house where you can relax, get some tea. Uh, she is a businesswoman. If you come down here, you can see we've got actually two, four villager houses right next to each other. So that was Raymond and Shino, and then over here we have Marshall and Pecan. Pecan runs a little sushi restaurant here on Freebird. You can see we have some outdoor sushi and inside she has a sushi bar. Over here is Marshall's drink space. Uh, too bad Marshall's not home right now because Marshall actually runs the island's speakeasy. You can see here on the outside, it looks like Marshall is just serving some cider, some iced tea. But if you go inside his house, he has a back room where he maybe serves something a little bit harder. I won't tell if you won't tell. If we make our way down to this portion of the island, you can see we're getting back into the mountainous area, back to some of our ski slopes. And this first house here is Butch's house. Butch sells ski gear. That was very hard to say. Try to say that 12 times fast. Uh, so Butch sells ski gear here on the island of Freebird. And if you go inside his house, you're, you'll be able to see um, Butch has some nice ski equipment for sale, a nice place to hang out, a little cozy spot for skiing equipment. He even has uh, some skis for sale you can try on and a little uh, changing room there in the corner. To the right of Butch is Teddy. Teddy is just the ultimate jock. I mean, if you have Teddy on your island, you know exactly what I mean. Because Teddy is just such a jock. I wanted to uh, have Teddy sell our sporting equipment. So Teddy is selling our uh, skateboards. He has some golf clubs, some basketballs. Unfortunately, he's cooking right now. So he did replace a table that is in here. But he does have, of course, some workout equipment in the back. I don't think Teddy could have a house without workout equipment. He's just the jockiest jock there is. And in the back, he has a little bed. And of course, for Teddy, it would be the sloppy bed. That's just his personality. It is who he is. He can't control it. Over to the right of Teddy and Butch's house is our Freebird ski lift where you can go up to our Freebird slopes and, you know, get some... I don't know, I was, gonna, I was gonna say like shred the waves, but that's 100% surfing. As you can see, I, I'm not a fitness person, but what I do know is if you want to go skiing, here's our ski lift. It'll take you up to the different uh, little cliffs here for some skiing, snowboarding, I don't know, sledding, whatever you want to do. Uh, we'll take the down ramp here. If you take the Freebird ski lift up, you can come down, maybe do some snow tubing. Over here on the left side is more of our black diamond slopes. Uh, you can see it's a little bit it's a little bit treacherous here with the cliffs and everything, but whoever was doing some sledding here really just took the challenge up. And uh, this is our this is our little skiing, sledding, snowboarding, whatever other winter sports area. If you sneak through here, there's a little hiking trail. You might miss it, but that's because it's intended to be private. 
like this is our camping area and you can come here hang out with your friends do some camping maybe even some glamping if you want to rent our fancy tent you can see they're featured in the back uh this is a nice secluded camping area there is no one going to be bothering you none of the residents make their way over here it's just for you to hang out maybe roast some marshmallows rent one of our little tents or if you want to upgrade to the glamping experience we have that as well if you walk over this way, you can see there is a built-in ladder you can climb up and you can walk through here to one of our hiking trails. So we just had one of the little small hiking trails outside of the uh, skiing area, but over this way is our more formal hiking area. But before we go there, I'm going to come down here and show you a couple more houses and villager areas. So the first villager area over on this side of the island is an ice skating area and Eric runs our local ice skating rink. Uh, Eric's house is over here as you can see and if we go in I'll show you what his house interior looks like. Because Eric runs our entire ice skating rink, he doesn't really have much of a uh, job inside of his house, but it is a nice little lodge where you can come hang out after, you know, you've had a long day of ice skating. Maybe you just want to lift up your feet, take a break, make some snacks. Eric is always good for a snack. Uh, so this is Eric's little lodge. He has a wonderful view of the mountains in the background. It's a nice relaxing place. You can see he's sitting there reading a book by the fire. He looks so freaking cute. <laughs> If we move down this way, you can see we have a little outdoor seating area where you can cozy up with some hot chocolate after you do some ice skating. And if we move down even further, this bridge is actually connecting us to our museum that we saw earlier. So when we first came in, we were looking down at the uh, train station, or looking up at the train station. Now we're looking down at it. Our museum serves as a nice place for you to unwind, relax while you're waiting for your train or plane, see some art, get a coffee, all of that great stuff. If we make our way back over this bridge, there are a couple of more villager houses over here. This is Molly's house. Unfortunately, she's not home right now, but Molly runs a bakery. You can see Molly has some bread, cupcakes, all of that cute stuff outside for little to-go snacks. And unfortunately, Molly's not home, but on the inside of her house is a nice little cafe as well. Over here is Maple's house, and Maple runs our local greenhouse. Inside, Maple has tons of plants and uh, I don't know, seed starts, all of the great stuff that you can't totally get outside in winter. Maple runs it from inside her house. She also has an, a nice outdoor greenhouse here. And as you can see, this area has tons of flowers that Maple is keeping alive during the winter somehow. Maple and Molly have a cute little picnic area over here, a nice place to relax. Uh, and trust me, the two of them get some great use out of it. If we come down here, this is one of our easier hiking trails. It's simply more just a nature walk. You can look at some of the waterfalls, some of the nice landscaping, maybe take a break amongst the trees. And if you really want to hit ultimate relaxation, if you come over this way, we have our outdoor spa and our, uh, you know, hot, hot stone baths where you can take a break after maybe a long day of skiing or something like that. Over through here, you can see up top is the resident rep's house or my house. We'll go ahead and make our way back past Eric's house and I'll go ahead and show you the resident rep's house. Voila, just like magic, we have arrived. We are back behind Eric's house right now. Over to the right was our campsite, if you remember. And this is where our hiking trail starts. So you can see we have a sign for our woods up behind us and our mountains. Uh, if we want to go take a nice hike, we can start walking through here through a nice nature trail. You can see some great trees, uh, lots of great scenery. 
and back through here is actually the resident rep's house. There's a nice pond out front, a little land bridge taking you over to the house, lots of bright colors over here, blues, greens, all of that great stuff. If we go inside this house, uh, I was going to make it more of like a welcome center or a lodge area, but you know what? I thought I work really hard for this island. I deserve a nice relaxing place. I uh, like that I forced all of my villagers into labor, but for myself, I just decided I deserve the ultimate cozy location. Uh, what can you say? When you, when you really built this island up from the ground, you get what you deserve. Here in our main room is just the ultimate comfy cozy space. I wanted big couches. I wanted it to feel lived in. Uh, I added a little Nintendo Switch light back there. I added a camera, a place to get some coffee, a place to read books. I really wanted it to feel just super cozy. Why don't we start by going in the back room here? So if you enter the back room, you can see that this is just a, a nice hangout spot, like maybe a little den, a place to hang out with your friends, play some games, there's a Nintendo Switch, you know, a Go board, uh, like lots of little games here, foosball, it's just, I don't know, I wanted it to be like just truly a little den where you can come and hang out with friends and things like that, uh, and that's exactly what this turned out to be. If we move over now to the first room on the left, let's take a look. This room here is my kitschy kitchen, I like to call it. Uh, it's a very retro 70s inspired kitchen. I loved all of the colors. I loved the yellow sofa, the box sofa. I loved the flooring. I think this is the retro flooring or the mod flooring, something like that. I loved using all of the bright oranges and yellows and even some pinks in here. I don't know what I, I was inspired by when I went with this, but I think it might have been either that record player or the toaster. Both of them just screamed retro 70s kitchen to me, and so I really went for it. I uh, fully committed and I love it. I don't know if I'll ever change this kitchen out because I'm just so obsessed with how absurd and how bright and colorful it is. If we go over to the room on the right, this is our spa area where you can hang out and relax. Uh, I think my uh, theme of this island is that, you know, first you work hard and then you relax even harder. All of my villagers have a job. We are all doing our part on this island, but there are plenty of spots where you can just truly unwind. And I would love nothing more than to unwind in one of those baths or... I don't know, maybe get a massage in here, smell some good incense, all of that amazing stuff. It's just such a nice, cozy atmosphere here. If we come over here, let's start with the basement. The basement in my house is just completely absurd and I love it. I think it's, uh, I was inspired by some workout equipment. I haven't changed this basement out in a very long time because I just think it's so hilarious. Uh, I think I originally had like a bar down here. The game room that you saw in the back was down here, but I felt like very inspired to do a I don't know, suburban parents' basement where they have tons of workout equipment that maybe goes unused and like the kids just end up playing with. Um, I decided to use the rock wall, which maybe is completely unrealistic, but I thought it was adorable. And yeah, I don't know what I was going for with this basement other than a true workout room. The final room of the house, you may have guessed it, is my bedroom, and again, I just really wanted this to be a nice, like, warm, cozy environment. So over here, we have a little kid's tent. Uh, I don't know, I just, I guess, imagine myself, like, sitting under that, reading a book, <laughs> something like that. Uh, there's a nice vanity, our bed, of course, we have a humidifier going, no dry skin here. Uh, a nice place to sit by the fire, listen to some records, maybe watch some TV. I haven't changed this bedroom out in quite some time either, but I really like it. And with that, we have seen the entire house. If we move over this way, there's a uh, walk over that small land bridge. You can see we start getting a nice view here right outside of my house. Nonetheless, I'm going to, oops, that's not the camera. Keep playing. I'm going to pull up the camera. Let's go for the, let's go for the handheld camera and let's do the, the nice camera trick here. Okay. So if we're back. 
back and take a look. Uh, here you can see this is our, our nice waterscaping area. It's a really relaxing space along the hike. I wanted to just feel very expansive, like a little canyon uh, right outside of the hiking trail. If you make your way over through the little uh, past the water space, you can take a look at our overlook spot. Right now, we just have a, a boat visiting us here docked on the Freebird Beach, but sometimes mysterious things happen on that secret beach. Through here, we have one of our more strenuous hiking trails. You can see we are truly in the mountains now, uh, so things are getting a little tight, a little dicey. But if we walk through here, don't worry, you can make your way through the canyon. And alas, we have uh, a nice ladder here to help us get through this tough trail. We have lots of trees in the background, but if we make our way through and climb up the ladder, we are met with the secret sledding area, our black diamond trail that we saw earlier, a nice place to go and, you know, uh, hang out with your friends, maybe have a little bit of adventure. Over here is the ski lift that I showed you earlier, a, a nice great, I don't know, transportation spot. It gets you up to the top of the cliffs where you can do some sledding, some tubing, whatever it may be. You can see I used the utility poles and the plain party arch or party lights arch to mimic a little ski lift here. I wanted to use the swinging benches. Uh, I'm so happy with how the ski lift turned out. I think it ended up being really cute, uh, even though I, uh, you know, I've seen a ski lift done so many times, but it was super fun to make. And after you do your sledding, your tubing, whatever you might do, you just come through here and you are back at Butch and Teddy's house, which we saw earlier. Uh, through the beach, there's just a nice little hangout spot with a uh, bonfire happening. You can hang out with your friends, post skiing, uh, just a little spot for relaxation. The rest of the beach isn't decorated. Like I said, we're a ski resort. There's not a lot of time for hanging out at the beach here. And with that, we have completed our first ever island tour. I'm so happy to share this with you guys. I had so much fun building it and I really, it's so exciting to finally complete an island. I've been playing Animal Crossing since launch, but this is the first time I've really completed an island 100% and feel comfortable sharing it. And I've got to be honest, it is just so exciting. It is a really, really exciting thing to do. Uh, I'm so happy. If you guys enjoyed this video, please be sure to give it a like and subscribe to my channel if you want to watch more Animal Crossing content and for more fun content on the Nintendo Switch. Oh, here's Molly to come say goodbye to you all. Uh, thank you so much for watching and I hope you all have a great day. See you later.